all big Australian cities are located on the coast and in, in fact many of them have demolished or flattened coastal dunes to be right near the beach, then they're exactly in harm's way as sea level rises and the climate changes. There's going to be potentially dramatic changes at the coast in the next 50 to 100 years um, and many of our, much of our infrastructure, many of our houses and buildings and homes are in the way and will be impacted to various degrees. Um, basically our, our coastal dune, dune research is a, about uh, trying to understand better how coastal dunes form and change and behave over time and examining the wind flow and sand transport dynamics and, and the relationship between that and vegetation change. Uh, and then also at a broader scale trying to examine how future climate change will impact coastal dunes and how those coastal dunes will behave in the future. Principally there's very very little being done on coastal dune dynamics, evolution, development uh, anywhere and secondly uh, we know very little about how climate change might affect coastal dunes so you know, the broader picture is as climate change takes place in the next 50 to 100 years rainfall decreases, wave energy increases, sea level rises What's the impact on the coastal dunes? South Australia is a very good laboratory for doing the climate change research because we have this um, very significant gradient in rainfall. So if you go from Adelaide Hills to 800 millimetres rainfall per year on average, to the West Australian border you're down to 200 millimetres. So it's a beautiful laboratory to look at um, how coastal dunes are currently behaving in those different rainfall zones. So we're working in various places um, both in Australia and the world trying to look at the um, evolution dynamics of dunes in various places. So the Fraser Island, Kalula dune fields are the largest sand islands in the world. So we've got a, an ARC grant to examine um, A, their age and development through the last million years uh, and then to look at recent climate change and how that's impacted the active dunes there.